Hello, my name is Joshua. I work for Scribe Software. I'm here to talk to you today about the uh, Scribe Online Connector Development Kit. Uh, we're going to talk about what connectors do for Scribe Online and the platform, and we're going to talk about uh, some of the things we're going to learn in this series of videos uh, concerning the Connector Development Kit. Okay, so uh, first is what do connectors do? Uh, connectors provide a way to connect and be authenticated by your API by a third-party application uh, that you want to move data in and out of on the Scribe platform. Uh, so connectors allow you to work with that application interface without, uh, uh, without additional coding. Okay? And so uh, what that connector will do is it will present schema information to the Scribe Online user so that they can use that information to map data back and forth. Uh, the connector is uh, required to read data from the API and it can also write data to your API. And again, you're developing this connector so you get to decide what gets read and what doesn't and what gets written. So, okay. Uh, the connector development kit uh, consists of uh, online documentation and online samples. Uh, we talk about the Scribe Online API at an object level. Um, we have several downloadable sample connectors. We have uh, uh, replication services connectors, integration connectors, uh, integration services connectors, uh, and uh, we have source code and projects for basic integration services, and we have unit test samples as well. Um, in addition, uh, we have uh, source code for our GoToWebinar uh, connector as a sample for you to use as a real-world sample as opposed to a, a more simplistic sample. Um, what you'll need to use these connectors uh, are Microsoft Visual Studio 2010, .NET 4.0. Uh, the UI that we use uh, with Scribe Online is Silverlight, so the connector is going to have to be Silverlight compatible. Um, so you'll have to have Silverlight um, uh, 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 additions included in your Visual Studio. Um, uh, all of the connectors are done in C Sharp, um, so that's what all of our samples are on. So it's it's pretty basic stuff. So Microsoft Visual Studio .NET 4.0. Uh, the connector development kit is available here at this website, scribesoft.com/helpcenter/prod/cdk/en, uh, um, and we can click right into it. And here you can see uh, it's it's. Really, this is all of your online documentation. As you click into it, our sample projects are available to you. This is probably a little bit small for you, uh, but you get the idea. So let's go back to our PowerPoint presentation and move on. All right, our training is, div is divided into several modules. Um, the first one we'll talk about next is uh, Scribe Online Architecture. Um, then we'll move into a Hello World uh, connector example where we'll go for a very simplistic uh, uh, set of code to get you up and running, get the connector recognized by the Scribe Online platform and your uh, Scribe Online agent. And uh, we'll show you how to do some basic functions, operations, uh, metadata, etc. Uh, after we get through the Hello World examples, we'll go into some more advanced connector concepts. That'll be another module that we deal with. Um, after we deal with that, we'll talk about uh, certification. We'll talk about all the things that your connector needs to do and uh, be compliant with in order to be certified to be included in the Scribe Online cloud system and to be moved into our marketplace. Uh, there. At that point, we should be talking about uh, deployment and maintenance. How do you deploy your connector? You have the option to deploy your connector in the cloud hosted by Scribe. And you also have the option to deploy your connector uh, to your individual customers hosted on their on-premise agent machines. Uh, when we talk about the Scribe Online architecture, uh, we'll be doing an overview of the architecture. Uh, we'll give you some visual examples of what, uh, uh, what pieces lie where within the Scribe Online world. Um, we'll talk about uh, where Scribe Online starts and stops, uh, where Scribe Online uh, deals with uh, uh, most of your, your, 
your, your actual uh, uh, data transformations and it deals with authentications and stuff like that. Uh, whereas your connector will deal with actual making the connection to your data systems, <clears throat> authenticating against those data systems and providing the data to the Scribe Online platform. So we'll talk about where your connectors start and stop and where Scribe Online starts and stops. So you don't have to do a whole lot within the connector to enable it for the Scribe Online platform. Um, uh, we'll talk about how connections work. We'll talk about the basic items, queries and filters, uh, metadata, and the various operations that Scribe Online supports, uh, inserts, updates, uh, upserts, etc. When we get into the Hello World connector example, <clears throat> uh, there's the, the basic concepts are, are listed here. Uh, we're going to get your connector recognized by the Scribe Online platform, by the agent, so that it shows up in the UI. Uh, then we're going to show you how to use our connector development kit to create uh, your connector interface, to provide the fields necessary for your customers to, to log in and authenticate against your system. Uh, the next step is metadata. We need to retrieve from your system all the entities and parameters within those entities that the customer needs to use to create a Scribe Online map. Uh, and then we'll talk about having the connector actually read that data as defined by the map. We're going to read that data and then we're going to write that data back. Uh, and again, you'll be able to choose what items get read and written. After we do our Hello World example, we're going to move on to the advanced concepts. The advanced concepts will include the real world connector code examples. Again, uh, we do provide in our samples our uh, go to webinar connector. And what we'll do is I'll walk through uh, some, of those, uh, some of these concepts in, within that sample so that you can see what a real world connector looks like. We're going to talk about how to debug your connector and differentiate that from debugging an online map. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, supporting last run date features, uh, queries and filters, and we're going to talk about how to map your API methods to Scribe Online's methods. So Scribe Online has updates, creates, and upserts. Your system, your API may have some other operations that don't fully map into that, but we'll talk about how to make that work together. Then we're going to get ready for certification. We've got our uh, connector put together. We're talking about uh, 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 we're talking to the entities that you're interested in talking with. We're writing data. We're reading data. Uh, we're filtering data. Uh, but now we have some specific requirements within our marketplace uh, for getting that uh, connector certified. Uh, security, safety, etc. We'll talk about the marketplace requirements themselves. We'll talk about where. Uh, to put your connector, files, folders that can be included with the connector. We'll talk about the requirements for cloud certification, uh, it, meaning uh, if you deployed locally, you may be able to have a little more leeway in what you do with the files uh, that are deployed with your connector, but in our cloud we have a few more restrictions about what you can and can't do with files. Um, and then we'll talk about versioning. As you uh, revision your connector, you're going to have to uh, uh, be very tight about versioning because as people log in to the Scribe Online platform, if a new version is available, we want it to be uploaded to that customer's agent immediately. So versioning is uh, a trigger for updates to take place at your customer's location. So that's a very important topic as well. Uh, deployment and maintenance. Again, uh, we talked about uh, uh, your connector being deployed in the cloud or on-premise at your customer's site. So we'll talk about how you get that information or that code to Scribe for deployment in our cloud or you how you get that uh, uh, connector code uh, distributed to your customers on an ongoing basis. Um, and we'll talk about upgrades and how, how we deal with uh, moving that data along. And that is what we'll, that's what we'll be discussing. So uh, thank you. I look forward to the rest of the class.